can we actually do this like that? Yeah? Do you want to do it all this way? I love it. Can you hold it though? How are your legs? No, I can't. I can barely. It's like, you get down, you're dancing, and I you're like, oh my it. god, get up. I feel it. <laughs> what am I looking at? The future. I know, it's such a... You're like, where are all a, my friends? It's such I'm a, in the quantum realm. <laughs> it's such a pensive... Uh, I'm not so sure about what I'm, <laughs> what I'm about to face. It looks like you've just farted and you're trying to hold a face and not try and get anyone uh, to think that yeah, you farted. Yeah, no, I, I see that. I see that. Yeah, just just kind of be it, cool. It was hope. <laughs> yeah. It was, <laughs> it was yeah, Hank. It was, it, oh. <laughs> no, it was the ants. <gasps> It was Hank. Damn, Ab. It was Damn Hank. Antonio Banderas. It was ghosts. She vanished too. So now she's leaving me to They're take all the over blame. The place. Oh my oh. god. Oh dear. Oh, Ant Man. I love this film, and I love the sequel as well. Ant Man the Wasp that we're talking about now. Um, how much has Ant Man changed your life? Because I feel like it's this whole Marvel universe is a lot. Yeah, it's changed it quite a bit. Um, in that I, you know, I been involved now for years with this uh, character and the franchise and this group of you know very visible and passionate uh, uh, fan base they're shown all over the world it's the first movie that my kids have seen in a theater with me and and then most kids are uh, in general have seen with me so it's been a, a huge a, uh, a huge and positive uh, change I think I read somewhere, maybe when the first movie was coming out, that your son had said, you said, oh, I'm doing that, man. He said, that's going to be really stupid or something. Yeah, like a version that. of that. Yeah. Where he's like, uh, yeah. What's, uh, what's his thoughts Well, he now? loves it. And uh, he, he, was even, he even thought it was cool then, but uh, he likes to press my buttons. Uh, and that hasn't changed. Uh, he loves Ant-Man, and he loved this. He says, really funny and is really good. Um, I st I still think he thinks Winter Soldier is a, a like the that uh, Sebastian Stan is a much cooler guy. Um, he likes that character, but he got went went crazy into the Marvel universe, and he's seen all the films now. And uh, and uh, I think he I think he's I think he's pretty psyched about it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm not a professional athlete or. Uh, Hip hop artist, so he's not that impressed. I'm still his dad. <laughs> um, I I really enjoy the Ant Man comic books. One of my favorites is um, the Ultimates, um, which Mark Miller wrote. But there was a kind of element to that story about Hank Pym um, and his kind of domestic abuse storyline. Obviously, this is quite a family movie. Um, do you think that considering like Black Panther went down like a dark kind of a darker, more social realist route with the kind of racial aspects of it? Do you think that we could see Ant Man this franchise maybe branch out into some of the more kind of serious tones that were set up in the comic books? I don't know. I think that we have established kind of a personality with, with Ant-Man and with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp now that is uh, different, a little different than the rest of the MCU yet still functions within it. And uh, I, I, don't see, I don't see it having any sort of gear shift. I don't even know... I don't even know what the future, uh, in all honesty, of the films are. Marvel is pretty good at kind of keeping things close to their chest, um, but uh, I don't. I, that would be a question I bet for Peyton more than than anybody. What did he say? <laughs> he said um, you don't have to kind of stick to canon, and that you're a bit more free to do that. But We're, I thought it was interesting to see like what everyone's kind of consensus. Yeah, I mean, was. there's look. I would say this that. Uh, it is nice to feel free and that we've established all of this. And Ragnarok seemed different than the other mm. Thor films. I mean, I think that depending on a director's vision or what they want to do, there's always directions that you can take it if it's, and, and it's a risk, uh, but it's interesting when it works, certainly. Um, with this, I don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what the future would hold. And I even hesitate to even think of what it might be or what any of it would be because we're still, you know, out here talking about this one. <laughs> um, well, I kind of want to ask about, like, a future installment, because one thing, obviously, that mid credit scene sets up is that um, potentially that um, Scott has always had someone to kind of guide him from, you know, Hank, from Hope, even his daughter in this movie. There's the guidance there and getting permission. Like, I feel like the next obvious step is him really stepping out on his own and having to make more of the decisions for himself. Is that something that you quite 
look forward to in creating a, I mean, someone who has to make the big decisions rather than having like team and mentors kind of guiding him. Right. Well, yeah, it seemed as if in the first one he was making decisions for himself and it didn't pan out <laughs> so well. Um, and I think Scott has, is, is learning, uh, learning um, at, as he goes and, uh, yeah, not even sure whether or not he wants to be this character. He wants to be a superhero at all. Mm. He wants to be a dad. Um, but I think that you know, he like all of us, we're we're learning as we go. Uh, again, where that leads, I ha uh, I I have I ha I really don't have much of an idea. He'll be the leader of the Avengers, obviously. Um, I wanted to have a quick thing. Mac and me, when is it gonna make an appearance in MCU? Are we gonna have like a little clip, maybe? Uh, well, that was a di I mean, that was a completely different uh, film that I worked on uh, and, uh, many years ago and had a great time on that film. And uh, I think we need an Easter egg, though. I think we need an MCU, <laughs> like in the background or something. It'd be cool. <laughs> Come on, God, ask Peyton. Yeah, that, uh, that again, uh, something tells me Peyton would be up. Peyton's got a very strange sense of humor. He might be up for anything, really. I'll look out for an Ant-Man 3, yes. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, <laughs> I hope so. I'll look out for it, too.